Hey Leo, what's up? Welcome to your November reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I really appreciate you and I hope that life is treating you well. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the second half of November. Get you some insight, get you some guidance, and overall see what's going on for you. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this reading. I'm going to start off with some Moonology cards and see what you need to know over these next couple of weeks, how you can work with this energy that's at play. We just had the new moon in Scorpio a few days ago. Um, so this is a time of really starting some new things. A personal issue reaches resolution. The energy is gaining momentum. Meditate and contemplate. Okay, so there's some sort of inner peace that you're gaining here, Leo. There's some sort of personal issue that you've been dealing with. I think this came out for Capricorn. If you got any Capricorn placements, just saying, or if you're dealing with Capricorn. But so there's like a personal issue that's shrinking. It seems like this is something going on internally, something going on within you with the new moon in Pisces. So this is something that you may be keeping hidden from other people, hidden from the world, hidden from your friends or family. This is something going on in your subconscious. This is subconscious patterns being brought up. This is a transformative time here. There's many layers to this. Even when we look at this card, which is saying energy is gaining momentum, there's all these diff Oh, I, I, just, I just did a little hair flip. <laughs> there's many layers of these mountains. So it's telling me that whatever this person personal issue is there's many layers to this is pulling back those those onion layers They're digging deep okay so there could be some things being brought up about your home life your family your upbringing childhood for some of you because cancer that's the fourth house that brings up your roots this could be bringing up where you live there could be some sort of shift or change in the place that you live the home that you live this could be talking about some sort of change in your physical reality this might be bringing up family this could be bringing up siblings your mother perhaps or a feminine energy in your life typically cancer and the moon brings up the more feminine energy, motherhood, you know, so there could be something being brought up around that or children even. OK, so maybe maybe take a look at that. See where is that highlighted for you and what is your triggers and emotional connections towards those kinds of themes and topics okay we have meditate and contemplate so spirit is really wanting you to go inwards and check in with yourself and check in with how you're feeling about these situations or about your emotions like where you're at with your feelings leo like you okay i hope you're all right this could just be saying like you may need to just rest you might need some time to really just like catch up on some sleep take a break from something um but there there's something you're needing to kind of contemplate okay there's a lot that you are trying to figure out but there's a lot of secrets there's a lot of things that are hidden um this is the 12th house in astrology so this rules even karma there's some karmatic clearing taking place saturn just went direct um and saturn is in pisces so definitely take a look at your if you know your natal chart know where pisces is Take a look at what house that is. It's giving you a little bit of insight of what you can expect to progress and expand over these next couple of months. Now that Saturn's gone direct, you can expect to have some sort of reward, okay? So there may have been some sort of delay in some sort of personal thing, some personal goal, some personal desire, wherever you've been experiencing that delay or that stagnancy or a bit of a disruption, I feel that in the coming weeks, you can expect to see progress and growth. All right. So it seems like you're gaining your momentum. There's something that is finally moving forwards and it's a new beginning. We got a lot of watery energy too. So you're definitely feeling heavy emotions. It's intense. It's powerful though. It's very transformative. We have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. We also have showed the world the real you full moon in aquarius and we also have emotions are running high yeah i'm not surprised you and your loved ones are safe there's a lot of cancerian energy maybe you got some cancer placements or you're dealing with a cancer or you're really just needing to like love and nurture yourself let's get some animal cards and let's see what else is going on for you over these next couple of weeks for leo hmm oh my god that's funny the fish trying to flip out and we got that pisces energy which is the fish all right, show me clearly what's going on for Leo over the next couple of weeks, second half of November. What do my Leos expect? Any insight, wisdom, guidance? So whatever this personal issue is, it feels like it's something you can solve on your own or it's something you can heal. It's something that you can free yourself from, untangle. You can untangle yourself from whatever this issue is, whatever this problem is. It feels like there is a solution that you are figuring out 
Tell me more about this. We have the turtle. We have the cheetah. Yeah, look, look, look. Go from the slow, steady, kind of, you know, it's a real slow process to boom, cheetah, let's go. You're on it. Move, movement, progression, go, go, go. Like action, action, action. So it also looks like there could be something coming towards you. All right, let's, let's get some more. Yeah, see, look, and the, the raccoon at the bottom, something that's hidden, something that you aren't aware of, something that you're not seeing, or it's kind of like lurking in the shadows. Ah, oh, the fish was meant to come out, y'all. It was meant to come out. It tried to earlier, and I was like, no, get your ass back in the deck, and it, here we have it again. Okay, so, you know, I'm kind of getting this start, stop, start, stop, push, pull, fast, slow, like, you know, red light, green light type shit, because yeah it's there's a fluctuation here maybe you're needing to get more clear with what your intentions are going into this um you're kind of having to just dive on in but again your feelings and your emotions are kind of fluctuating during this time your mind might be changing a lot your opinion your feelings about this situation might be really shift shape shifting so it's not really consistent there's a bit of this inconsistency in this direction you're going down one day you might move forwards 10 steps and the next day you might move forward one step. It's, it's kind of like up and down. Every day is going to be different. So kind of just rock with the energy when you're feeling inspired, when you're feeling the drive, when you're feeling motivated, that's when you got to go and just keep pushing. And then at other times you might just need to listen to your body and slow down or take a break or come back to that thing later. Kind of need to just really listen to what it is that you are feeling physically and intuitively and emotionally. Really needing to listen to where your mind is at. Hmm. Set some small goals for yourself, Leo. Let's see. We have the octopus at the bottom, the rabbit. Mm, there's something that's overwhelming you. You're afraid to expand. We have the snake underneath that. And the snake came out reverse. I normally don't read the animal cards in the reverse, but I will just kind of take that into consideration. Like there's some sort of change that you're afraid of or you're hmm, not afraid. You're just like intimidated by. There's a bit of this intimidation. Like, can I handle this? Can I do this? Am I good enough? What if I can't? Like there's a lot of this overacting, over my, overthinking, over, you know, like overactive mind, y'all. And the snake is all about expansion and growing. But you can see how in this card, he's chasing his tail. And you can see the, the pattern here. So there's like this old root to falling into old patterns, old ways, old habits. And that's something I see that is kind of like a push-pull. Camel, again, more moon energy. The mouse. Yeah, just a bit afraid of some changes here. <sighs> All right. Let's get into this. All right, show me clearly, Spirit, what is going on for Leo in the second half of November? You know, don't rush. Whatever this is, you don't need to rush. Maybe you're feeling like a time crunch or you're feeling like you're running out of time. You don't need to hurry because whatever is truly meant for you won't pass you by. So just keep that in mind. You're like, oh my God, I need to hurry up. I need to get this going. I need to go. No. Okay. Maybe if you have a deadline, like obviously, you know, but it feels like you don't have to feel so worried about how much time you have left. you got plenty of time. You'll make it work. You'll meet if there's a deadline, you'll meet the deadline. Okay. Show me clearly what's going on for Leo. Okay. We have the emperor. We also have the ace of wands. Look at this fire. Look at this passion. Look at this drive. All right. Three of swords is at the bottom. So let's see three of swords four of wands and the four of swords you're you're kind of you're going through something here it's pretty emotional i see you healing I see you getting your mojo back yeah your work your career your passions projects is definitely helping you it's help it's definitely a great focus for you um it's a good distraction like some of y'all who have been going through some heart-wrenching stuff heartbreak personal issues again something that you've been keeping hidden or something you've been keeping a secret especially with the turtle you've been kind of masking something or keeping something under your shell again maybe just trying to protect yourself from being vulnerable um but anyways so you might be kind of just trying to stay busy and focus on your work or just to focus on projects and your passions and you know that's cool right you're just focusing on your desires 
and um it's looking good it's looking good it's helping you heal or it's helping you kind of take your mind off the stress and take your mind off the worry i see that there's healing you kind of you are needing to take a bit of a break here four of wands four of swords some of you do need to take a break and rest otherwise um you know you may reach burnout i see you really are dedicated to some sort of craft some sort of um plan here yeah you're like you're just you're moving forwards you're on the go where are you going where are you going you might be dealing with an aries i know in aries reading leo kept coming through so strongly so maybe go listen to that reading that was up yesterday so let's see what else is going on for leo so yeah it's like you're determined i see you boxing up i see you coming into like you know a higher position if this is about your work your job your career um there's something that you're mastering there's something you're getting really good at so that's awesome what else can leo expect second half of november show me clearly what's going on for leo knight of swords see so there's something coming in fast it's that similar vibe with the cheetah and this is something i see that you've manifested here the magician at the bottom of the deck so you're calling in fast change and this is where you're feeling overwhelmed with how quickly things are happening nine of swords this is kind of stressing you out because it's happening so quickly and so sudden and all of a sudden like everything's falling into place and you're like whoa i don't even know how to react i don't even know what to do with this we have the six of pentacles six of swords you got lots of um you have you had like fours now you have sixes popping up here all right, but I see you moving towards a lot of stability. I see you moving towards lots of money, too. Like, your money is popping off. Like, you know, if you land in a new job or some sort of new endeavor, I see it's it's big income, big earning, big money. Big money to be made. Lots of success here. Um, we have the world underneath that. Seven of Swords reversed. Queen of Wands. I don't know. I just see, like, personal struggles, personal issues, and, like, feeling frustrated. Um, or, or blocked even where you've been feeling blocked let me show you the ace of wands reverse some of you who have been feeling blocked you're finding a, a like a way to break free there's like there's some sort of sudden like light bulb or flip of i don't know like you're just you're there's like a situation here where you're turning things around in your favor again it kind of feels like 180 degree flip from the turtle to cheetah from like slow stuck stagnant barely moving to holy shit you're just speeding on through like all of a sudden you get a head start or like it's kind of i'm getting the image of like if you're in a race and you're like the last one and then somehow somehow like you just all of a sudden you start speeding through and now you're the first you went from last place to first place like huh i don't know but don't question it just know like and be glad <laughs> be happy about this all right you don't need to worry about well how did this happen what did i do to deserve this like no but it's good so don't even question it all right tell me more what what's coming towards leo what's this like knight of swords by like what i feel like something's really taking off can we tell me what this is about we have the nine of wands and then the wheel of fortune so see like you've been so freaking determined you've been plowing through you've been pushing you've been just like unstoppable okay you've been building something and it's required a lot of steadiness it's required a lot of focus a lot like this is just big achievement y'all big achievement congrats you should be so freaking proud of yourself um but yeah that there's sudden change but it was a long time coming it was a long time coming <sighs> it's that final push we have justice underneath that with the three of swords and then the nine of cups so see there's some sort of justice being served from some sort of pain some sort of suffering that you have been working through something again maybe that personal issue there's a resolution here there's something here that you're able to finally leave behind or detach from or set yourself free and it, it like it's like you're finally able to enjoy the blessings that are in your life that are coming into your life like it just feels like things are balancing out for you especially like for those where libra season was really hard october if october was a really hard month for you um there is some sort of like good news coming your way we have the nine of cups to that justice energy so something you've been calling in something you've been praying for and you've been really trying to just like keep the faith and keep the hope which i know can be very difficult um 
here we have some really amazing news coming in or very, very positive progress that you're witnessing, that you're experiencing and you're proud of and you're happy and you're satisfied. And it just, it's really good. Is the hurt in the three swords, it's still there. There's still some wounds, there's still some scars. It's not all completely forgotten about. Um, but you are moving through this. You are moving away from that hurt and that heaviness. So that's really positive. I'm glad. So keep going. Things are falling into place for you. Even if it feels a little bit messy right now, it serves a purpose and it's leading you to this amazing opportunity. So can we see what this is about? What's happening next for Leo in the second half of November? What can my Leos expect? What is this change coming in that Leo worked so hard for? Show me clearly what's going on for Leo. Ace of Pentacles. This is so wild. Like, this is so similar to Aries reading. A little bit. A little bit. See, a lot of you have money coming in, or there's a big, big opportunity for you to really solidify something. It's, again, it's like, it's been a long time coming, but this is well earned. Like, you earned this. You deserve this. You are about to be blessed. We have the four swords at the bottom. You are able to rest your mind. You are at peace. Oh, this feels like huge, huge weight that's been lifted. Let's see, underneath the Four of Swords, the Hierophant and the Six of Wands. Some of you, you landed a contract, you landed some sort of deal, you land, like, you, this This is a big deal. Some of you maybe even have, this could even be representing, um, I mean, we don't have any cups out here, so this might be, like, for, like, one person, but maybe you got something lined up about marriage or some sort of long-term partnership or, like, some sort of contract, y'all. Hierophant can talk about marriage, partnership, too. Maybe this is a business contract that you're getting locked in or some sort of deal that you're signing, but it's, like, you can finally, like, ease your mind. Like, you're at peace. It's that similar vibe with the new moon Pisces. Meditate and contemplate that four of swords. So this is something that you've been dreaming of. This is something that you've been imagining and visualizing. Especially especially if you do meditate more. It's like you've had visions of this happening. You've had dreams of this happening. You've, like, written this down. You, you really manifested this. You manifested this. And we have the six of wands underneath that. So there's success here. There's other people witnessing your achievements your rewards there's people that are admiring you we have the eight of cups and the page of wands you're moving to the next level you fought hard for this leo you really did but you're i see you moving to the next level some of you may actually be moving eight of cups in the page of wands you may have the opportunity lined up to like travel or to go move or to explore new places or to like you're leveling up or advancing in some sort of way higher level of um a commitment for a few of you wow if this is a job it's like a higher level position like you're being you know granted more um like benefits or more like you know a higher pay rate or something like that like that's amazing i love that for you let me do some clarifying okay so let's see um yeah like this ball is just rolling you're just ride the wave leo ride the wave you're learning how to surf okay that's the vibe with the fish to the cheetah i feel like you're learning how to like surf and ride the wave and like you're mastering something come with this ace of wands emperor for uh leo show me clearly what is this ace of wands emperor energy you're bossing up you're leveling up you know you really know your shit you know your shit you know you're good at what you do and even if you know your shit and you're pretty good at what you're doing, you're just imp you're constantly improving yourself. You're constantly looking to do better, constantly looking to transform yourself and just expand and learn and grow. We have the Ten of Swords out here. So this is after, oops, this is after some sort of ending, this new beginning that you're putting your focus and your attention on. Maybe this is an ending in your job or a previous job, Five of Pentacles, or it's like, <clears throat> let's see, underneath that, the Five of Swords. Yeah, there was a definite that ending some of you were happy about this ending though we have the sun and you feel you're better off without this or like you feel lighter now that this isn't in yeah the world you're happy about this ending some of you this is actually like you're happier now that this is not part of your life or can we can we anyways i'm trying to figure out what this new path is and spirit's talking about this ending i guess if it wasn't for whatever this ending you wouldn't have landed this opportunity or maybe your path would have been different um you know alternate reality type shit if you had made a different choice if you had stuck around if you had made different decisions 
um, your life would be completely different. Kind of like, again, butterfly effect type shit. So that's kind of why Spirit wanted me to talk about that, is that this ending that you went through in your recent past pushed you in this new direction. So again, redirection type shit. Tell me about this Ace of Wands and the Emperor for Leo. What is this opportunity? What is Leo putting their energy on? What is Leo working towards? Okay, Prince of Swords Reverse just flipped out. So some of you could have experienced some sort of delay. I kind of want to tie that back in with Saturn, Saturn Retrograde. Saturn delays, but never denies. Um, and now that Saturn's gone direct, and like I said, Saturn's in Pisces, maybe wherever, again, if you know your natal chart, Take a look at where Pisces is, what house Pisces sits in your natal chart, because that's where you are experiencing this reward. After all those lessons the last, like, what, five months or so? Probably, give or take. Yeah, anyway, so there's there are some sort of delays. There are some sort of setbacks. Maybe you felt at times you were going backwards. Tower. Situations that were out of your control. Scorpio season's here to clean that up and to change your circumstances with the two of pentacles underneath that and the ace of pentacles so you also have options you have choices you got many different avenues you could go down so take your time think contemplate the next step what action you want to take because you know feels like once you decide things are going to move very quickly for you nine of swords you're you see there's like anxiety here you're feeling a little restless what was that isn't that that rabbit yeah the rabbit of the octopus that was at the bottom from earlier it's like there's a fear of like change even even though you know it's good and you're excited and but there's like nerves about it you just don't want to mess this up you're you're you know no normal the usual fears that creep on up when starting something new whether it be a new job a new relationship a new class a new environment whatever the case might be but you got this you're just out of your comfort zone the queen of wands she's not really fond of being out of her comfort zone she definitely likes her certainty she likes to have things like planned out and like she likes to have um like a hundred percent all-knowing knowing what she's diving herself into, knowing what she's heading into, and the fact that you maybe don't know exactly what's around the corner has you feeling a little anxious, a little nervous, right? So maybe be around animals, be around children, be around, you know, nature, plants, that might really bring you some sense of peace here. Um, really just connecting with, like, again, your comforts, going back to Cancerian energy, your comforts um, need to get comfortable here maybe again maybe if you're moving you know this is about you kind of like settling in and you know adjustments and just getting used to it all we have the hermit at the bottom with the two of wands so you'll have some sort of decision or choice to make there's a lot you got to contemplate here seven of pentacles three of pentacles what are you growing what are you moving towards what do you want out of this situation it could be something about september coming up like the previous september that we just had like a few months ago um Maybe you're planning ahead for next year. Hmm. Anyways, Knight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune just tried flipping out. Talk about the Knight of Swords for Leo. What is this sudden shift, this sudden change? Talk about this Knight of Swords for Leo. Five of Cups. Ooh, ooh, okay. Let me just get some more on this Knight of, Knight of Swords. <sighs> Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups. So, hmm. We also have the Seven of Cups at the bottom. This might be a confusing time of your life right now. <laughs> like, dang. Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So you're feeling confused. Your emotions, you're kind of confused with where your mind, your head, your heart is at. There's a lot of moving pieces, lots of moving puzzles, because it's kind of like, again, probably connected to whatever this ending is or some sort of loss that you went through. There's still heaviness. There's still hurt. There's still, like, your heart still is kind of, like, carrying that burden. There's an emotional burden coming in. But yet, there's such positive things coming towards you. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, even the Two of Cups. I see fulfilling relationships. I see, um, like, really, like, new connections here that will be, like, you part of your soul tribe. Or, like, I see long-lasting relationships that are either currently growing, the bond is deepening, or there's new bonds, new connections, new people... And this can be in love, this can be in platonic, like, friendship, this can be representing family, and I even got some business energy, too. But so there's bonds that are forming here, they're getting very deep, and it's like, 
there's holding a lot of potential from something being in the early stages to developing into something long term here, Ten of Pentacles. So how do we go from the page to the Ten? This is giving us a glimpse of our potential future. This is giving us ideas of what things may be, even like six months from now, okay? And you may be like, oh my god, Jade, six months? I can't wait that long. Six months is nothing. Like, boom. It's gonna go by like a blink in the eye. Like, before you know it, it's you'll have this so... Trust the process. <laughs> it's a lot sooner than you think before you... Like, time goes by fast as fuck. So, six months is really not that long. Okay? Next set of eclipses, that's like less than six months from now. That's where this shift is taking place. Aries season, y'all. Aries season. Get ready. New Zodiac year. Get ready. I, I, but, like, anyways. So, I'm telling you, like, that's probably when things are becoming more secure more stable right now things are kind of up in the air with that fish energy things are still fluctuating things are kind of again remember i was like you know you might take 10 steps forwards and one day and then the next day you are completely stuck stagnant maybe you take a few steps backwards it's just kind of a process that you're going through you need to just trust the process even though you may be kind of confused with the direction you're going down or even like twists and turns when i had a swords to the seven of cups you're like whoa wait what I wasn't expecting this underneath the seven of cups page of cups conversations that might come up emotions that might come up feelings that are coming up things that you thought you moved on from all of a sudden why are you getting triggered again or why are you being reminded of this thing again or this place or this person or this event right but you have a choice you have a choice some of you has to do with love prince of cups ten of cups underneath that some of you actually do have love coming in Whew. so yeah a lot is going on. Lots of lots of moving pieces. I can understand why you're like, what the heck is going on? But even when we look back at this Ace of Pentacles, look at everything that's connected and surrounding more pentacles, right? Another, another, another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, you know? Like, it just keeps coming. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. I don't know, man. This is some wild shit. <sighs> anyways holy shit we gotta let's just see ace of pentacles wheel of fortune what changes can you expect what are these changes coming in in these next couple of weeks because i know we we're talking about like the long term of things but what you want to know over the next couple of weeks in november what are these changes this is the beginning stage y'all this is the beginning because we can we have the ace of wands ace of pentacles so this is new energy this is in the early stages this is where you're laying down the foundation this is the first layer of many or maybe it's like the second or third like you know some of you you've you've already laid down a few layers a few foundations awesome so but you're building up you're expanding this is a time where you are expanding and growing so let's see how this is playing out over the next couple of weeks ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune and then we gotta go okay what are these changes taking place for leo ace of pentacles wheel of fortune what changes can leo expect in a couple of weeks we have death okay well <laughs> definitely during scorpio season the last little chunk of scorpio season expect big fat change change you can't come back from some of you literally have a partnership coming in this can be a relationship romantic business underneath that two of pentacles the choice is up to you though choice is up to you do you want to commit to this do you foresee yourself going down this this path this some of you maybe not prince of wands reverse maybe you're not ready to commit just yet yeah right even the fish he's kind of non-committal a little bit if this is a person so you might not be ready for that big step or that big of a promise right now let's see page of wands try this ace of pentacles wheel of fortune ace of pentacles wheel of fortune what are these changes show me clearly spirit a alchemist for, okay y'all you give me so many cards but we'll, we'll take it and i'm gonna let you go another four four of cups four of swords fours showing up consistently in your reading so what are these changes coming in you got changes coming in in regards to your career you have new relationships coming in you have new people new friendships wanting to you know connect wanting to socialize i definitely see over the next couple of weeks you're gonna be very social going to have some outings 
mingling with some people, needing to connect, okay? There's a need for you to really reach out and connect and express yourself and pursue your passions and creative endeavors. Alchemist out here, really, it's like whatever you want, it's yours. The opportunity is there. You have the ability to create. You have all the tools you need to bring in what you desire. So you want more money, you have the opportunity. You want more love, you have the opportunity. You want more success, more good health, more time, whatever it is that you're wanting here, Leo. Whatever maybe personal issues you've been dealing with, you want to resolve, it's all up to you. It's up to you. What are you going to do? Maybe you need more rest. Honestly, Four of Swords and temperance yeah you may need more rest over these next couple of weeks ten of cups maybe you're needing to spend more time at home maybe there's some shifts taking place or some um some changes and adjustments taking place in your home life we also have the three pentacles like some of you literally are moving like again that's coming through a couple times in this reading um but there's progress being made and it feels like you know whatever stress or worries that you've been dealing with lately is starting to simmer down Temperance in the Four of Swords, you can chill, you can ease, you can catch your breath for fuck's sake. Like some of y'all, <laughs> you've been just going, 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 going. Spirit's like, yo, like slow down a little bit. You don't need to rush. You don't need to rush your way through. Enjoy the process. Stop and smell the roses, okay? Enjoy the journey. You'll get there. You are on your way. Bruh, Leo, I shit you not. I just finished your reading, there was only like 30 seconds left, and my laptop froze, it completely crashed, just as I was saying, like, take a break, like, you don't need a rush, like, take time to catch your breath, and my laptop literally was like, yup, freeze everything, so take that as a sign, take that as confirmation, I don't really think I said anything else important after that, <laughs> but anyways, Leo, I appreciate you, I hope that you found this helpful and insightful, Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next reading next week. All right. Bye.